What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on the airport device. Um, this process will work on the Airport Express, which I'm using in this demonstration, the Airport Extreme, as well as the Airport Time Capsule. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use this airport. I'm also going to show you in this video how to roll back the software. If you have an issue with your, with your airport and you want to try something else, to maybe fix it, this is always a possibility. So, for this particular video, we're going to be doing this on an iOS device, in this case an iPad. So the first thing you want to do is go to the App Store and download an app called Airport Utility. It's an Apple app that will allow you to change the settings on your airport. So let's go ahead and launch that. So, once you launch it and you're connected to the same network as the airport, it's going to break down your network. In my network, I have an Airport Extreme and an Airport Express that's extending my network. If you're interested in to see how to do that, go to my channel. I have a video on how to extend airport networks if you're looking for some help with that. But anyway, to upgrade the firmware on the device, as you can see down here, it's showing a status symbol next to it. And that could be because of an error, or m most of the time it's because it needs a firmware update. So you go ahead and click on on the um, device and right here you can see there's a one by the version this is where you will update and roll back your firmware so go ahead and click on that as you can see firmware update is available and it tells you the current version this is where you would download and install this you just go ahead and hit download and install and install follow the steps to install the update it'll do it all automatically if you want to go back to an older firmware. So let's say you update this and all of a sudden your, airport, your uh, airport just doesn't work right. Go to this older versions tab. You can go back quite a few uh, updates. So you can go all the way back. It's like a decent amount. So you can go ahead and click on the one you want to go back to. Go back and then it'll prompt you to download that old version. All you have to do is hit download install. It'll ask you um, if you're sure, you go ahead and hit yes, and your device will automatically update. So, that's pretty much how you update your firmware. Like I said, it's works with all the airports, and this video will cover how to update the firmware as well as roll back the firmwares. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. I'll also be posting more how-to videos. Like I'm going to do the same video, but how to do it on a Mac here in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See ya.